Hey guys, one of the things that we know about marketing today is that putting out regular content is so important for a lot of reasons, especially for natural search engine optimization. So you're looking at our blog right now, and if you follow Juicy Results, you know that we create a lot of content between these Juicy Bits videos and our blog content, and now the new Customer Machine podcast. And so one of the, the most common questions I get from people who talk to me is, how do you come up with ideas for creating content? Or otherwise, what should I write about? This is the hardest thing. If you're not used to creating content, sitting down and looking at a blank piece of paper or a blank Word document can be the most intimidating thing. And so if you've been watching these videos, you know that I talk about always understanding what you want to rank for before you been, begin creating your content. So in other words, you need to define the keywords that you want to rank for, and then you create content around those topics. Okay, so in today's video, I want to share a quick tip with you that I've used many times for us at Juicy Results and for our clients to brainstorm topics to write about. So here's what I do. I pop over to Google, and I type in the keyword that I want to rank for. So I'm writing a piece of content, I'm writing a blog post. What is it that I hope to to ultimately increase my search engine rankings for? Or what is it that I want to be writing about, right? Just a subject in general. Even if you're not doing this for SEO, you probably know that you want to do this to rank for, you know, something about sales training or about architecture or whatever it is, okay? And so I'm going to say that this hypothetical client wants to rank for um, CRM training. So I might be a little bit more specific and type, type in something like, CRM training and now when I type that I get all kinds of suggestions okay now I'm gonna type in CRM training guide because adding guide to anything is is a great way to rank for something it's something I've learned um, so I come back so what I'm looking for is a great title so I type in a keyword and then I look at the titles that other people have written all right now I'm not going the way that you think I'm gonna go with this. So there's a little trick to this, okay? So I'm looking for a title, and boom, okay. Ultimate Guide to CRM Training, part one. I love it. Uh, ooh, CRM User Training, great training leads to user adoption. Now, is that something that I agree with? Is that, you know, something that I say? You know, yes. You know, if you don't train people on how to use their CRM, then they're not gonna use it, right? That's something that I believe in. So I'm not going to read this article. I'm simply going to copy the title and I may want to change it a little bit or I may want to go right after it. But now I've got two great articles, Ultimate Guide to CRM Training and you know something about CRM user training that you know without training you're not going to have user adoption. These are two ideas. I've actually got two working titles. I'm going to copy those. I'm going to you know basically open up a new Word document, I'm going to paste it in, and I'm going to write what I would have wanted to say about this title. So I'm actually going backwards. Most people sit down, they write about what they want to say, and then they come up with a clever title. In this example, I'm telling you to basically find a title that you like, that, you, that inspires ideas, and then sit down and write the article that you would have written. And don't actually look at this other person's article. Now when you're done, you may want to go and look at it and say, well, did they say anything that I didn't, that I missed that maybe I want to also include in my article? And that's fantastic if you do that. But by not reading it, you're gonna, the ideas should just flow from you. You should just have all kinds of great brainstorming ideas because you know what you would tell somebody if they ask you a question about CRM training and whether uh, training would lead to adoption and not training would lead to failure. So that's what you wanna do. So, you know, just to recap, basically go to Google, Start typing in a keyword, um, so anything like this, and basically you're going to get all kinds of ideas, and you're going to just steal something, and then you're basically going to find a title you like, and without reading the article, you're going to basically write what you would say for that article. It's a great way to come up with content. I've used it many times, and uh, it's way better than starting from scratch and just staring at a blank piece of paper. So I hope that's helpful. And at the end of the day, if you're not creating content, then you're gonna have a really hard time with internet marketing.